Huh. Whoa. We are here. This music is very detective-like. Because we're playing Frog Detective. Because this year I'm trying to play more games. And I think... I wanted to play Red Dead, but I feel like maybe I should ease myself into it a little. So I feel like this one is going to be a little bit better. And maybe not frustrate me too much. Well, let's get right into it then. I already tested it out before. Um, and it saved it, so... I was in a room. Okay, good. It just restarted it. I think I gotta turn it up. <gasps> Left click. That's a right click. We're already starting off really strong. Hello, who is it? <gasps> it's the supervisor. Is he a penguin? Look, I have a little, I have a little mouse. I mean, I have a little frog hand. Hi, supervisor. My name is just Detective. Hey, how's life? <laughs> Yeah, pretty good, I reckon. Are we a cowboy frog? How are things with you? What is that picture in the background? Is he at a pizza place? Do we work at a pizza place? Me and the wife just got back to Indon- Oh, from Indonesia. Ah, well. S what? Oh, oh, okay, he's speaking Indonesian. Thanks. Anyway. What are you calling about? Oh, right. I have a case for you. Cool. <laughs> He's so nonchalant about his job. It's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. Because it's the haunted something, this game. I'm holding on! <laughs> There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Rich. Martin? Martin the sloth? Says he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. It's not very long, Martin. So get this. Ooh, it's the T. He hires a team of ghost scientists. What does that even mean? Yeah, what's a ghost scientist? I don't know. Anyway, he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. They've been on the island for two weeks. Whoa. The ghost is still at large. Fuck. So the head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up. Why did why do you why do you need to know why do we need to know that he's a monkey? They need help and they want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to him, I'll send my best investigator. <laughs> but Lobster Cop wasn't available? That's so rude. So I'm asking you, the second best. I fully understand Lobster Cop's abilities far outweigh my own. Okay, we understand then. Yeah, but you're pretty good. Thanks. So, are you up for it? I don't know, sounds very scary. It does. I love how he's holding the phone. Just call him out. I'll have to be very brave. I believe in you. Okay, well then I can definitely do it. That's just what I need to hear. <laughs> Thank you, surprise. Me and this frog? I think we have the same brain, because everything I say, he just like says automatically. Wahoo! Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing. The basics are, there's a sloth who is hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around his island. He calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. It's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Okay, well, he kind of already told us that. Why did you yell the haunted island like that? Because that's the title of this case. I wasn't yelling it. Is this... Is this frog a lawyer? No, he's a detective! It says on screen, detective. Fair enough. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. Ooh, looks like I'm gonna have to pick that up. See you later, supervisor. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh. Ah, yes. My trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve mysteries without it. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we got an achievement for that. Look through your magnifying glass. Right click. Hey, this is the Germa, Germa video. Y'all like Germa? Time to solve a mystery. I wish he would have held his magnifying glass up to his eye. Whoa, he's really walking. Hell yeah. I watched this in the trailer. Oh, hell yeah. <gasps> He's going to the island. It's haunted. He's going to the island. 
he should not be out on the open ocean during a thunder lightning storm. Little frog. Mo, the mouse mouse. <laughs> this is like an Animal Crossing. Kind of. Fresh eggs. Hell yeah. And the rest. Wow. <laughs> look at them. They look so lifelike. Case number one. There's other cases, by the way. And if this is good, I hope to play them as well. Me going to work. <gasps> Maybe a man in a suit. Oh, okay. Hi. Oh, wait, where's my mouse? I thought I thought we were still in a cutscene. I'm like, he's really waving. Hello. MM. Ah, you finally made it. Thanks for coming on such short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. A fan? Well, why don't you follow me on Twitch, bro? Wow, that's very kind of you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is a haunting a crime? Wait, true. I would consider it a crime. When you figured out who was behind the forest theft in Witchtown, I couldn't believe it. Was it a witch? I thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? Oh, <laughs> Oh, you've been following my blog posts? Oh shit, we got a blog? Or is it more like a situation? It's trespassing. All right, true, let's arrest some ghosts today. I think we should. Yes, I'm Mystery Monkey 49 I comment all the time. I even made a funny joke once and you responded. Oh shit. Of course I remember. Hi, Mystery Monkey 49 Let's, we should, we probably shouldn't call him that. Please, <laughs> Mystery Monkey 49 is my online name. You can just call me Mystery Monkey. Oh, that's why his name is MN. Of course, can I ask you some questions about this case? Questions, yes. What would you like to know? The resident. I hope I can ask him too, the other question. May I ask who the resident of this- Well, I know it's a sloth. That'd be Martin. You can find him hiding in the forest. He thinks the ghost can't catch him there. I feel like a forest, like a haunted forest would be exactly where a, like a ghost would find you. Hmm, very interesting. I'll investigate. What else would you like to know? Where to start? Ask them their relationship with their father. Whoa, I'm, I'm, my name isn't therapist, it's detective. Who should I talk to first? You're talking to me already. Okay, who should I talk to second? Hmm, Larry, the tall red one. He always wants to meet new people. I think mostly he wants new people to meet him. Not so much the other way around. I'll check it out, thanks. What would you like to know? Ah, uh, nothing. You already answered all my questions. I think I'll come back later after some investigation. He should have held up his magnifying glass there too. See you around. Whoa, we're really close to you, aren't we? What the shit? Hey, we well, can see his legs in there. Okay, well, I'm supposed to talk to him first. Ah, and why wouldn't I talk to him? He's so, he's got such a welcoming face. Hi, it's me, Larry. That's how I'm gonna start my interactions with anybody from now on. Hi, it's me, Brittany. Oops, I did not do that. I didn't read what Frog said. Huh? The noises are not coming from me. Huh? I didn't- Oh, I see. I, Larry, did not make these spooky noises. Um, I'm pretty sure that Larry did it. That's like more suspicious somehow. <laughs> what? Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. No, I heard. I just- I don't like being accused like this. I'm not accusing you. Oh, you're not? That's such a relief. <laughs> Can I- are you gonna ask me questions? Yep. Ask them. The questions, I mean. Bro, he did it! He did it! Okay, we're gonna ask you about the fucking noises. <laughs> Firstly, I am not the one making them. Yep. But I know where they're coming from. <laughs> Yo! That's what frog- that's what that means. What? They're coming from the cave in the forest. Why haven't you told anyone? Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like, Well, Larry, if you won't listen to us, we won't listen to you. Well, valid. Which is so weird because I do listen. Maybe I am really- I'm a really great listener. So, how do we get into the cave? Well, I need a few things. 
To get through there, you'll need some sort of explosive device. Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, detective. None of this is safe. True. There is a starfish back there. Anyway, I'll need a few things. I looked up an explosive recipe in one of the old- Okay, good. I'm glad he didn't do that in his Google search, because I would have had another call coming to investigate him again. I need toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Huh? Oh, so the normal explosive ingredients then. Frog knows how to make explosives? Yes. If you want to get into that cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. Okay. Um. Hey! Y'all see that right there? Y'all see that? Can I have it? Yum. But it's not mine. Oh. Penne. True. Hey, can I have your pasta? Bernie. Hey, you're that detective, right? That one monkey keeps going on about? That's me. Take it. Immediately steal it. I would! I tried, but Frog is too fucking nice. He's like, it's not mine. I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Oh, these are the, the fucking ghost scientists. I see. Why did you take it? I'll be honest, I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you think that? The job listing said ghost scientist. That didn't seem like a real job to me. <laughs> I thought it was like a cover, you know? One that only smart people can figure out, like me. Okay. It still could be a cover. Maybe they're testing you. Oh no, you're right. I better look competent. You're not gonna look competent with a bowl of pasta behind you, I'll tell you that. I'll take that from you, sir. I'm only joking. Sure. Can I ask you some questions about the case? He should have held up his magnifying glass again. I need my own magnifying glass so I can do it myself. What else do you want to know? Ah! About this hole? About this hole? What do you know about the noises coming from this hole? I mean, I'm not great at this job, but I'd be good at other jobs. I'm just letting you know. That's me. That is me. But it does seem like the noises coming from this hole aren't from a natural- I don't even know what the hole is, though. They seem otherworldly somehow. They have a weird and distinct noise. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call. Well, maybe it's a bird in the hole. But only sometimes. Oh, okay, then it's not a bird in the hole. Wow, that's a lot of good information. Thanks. Yes, I'm very good at finding things out, if you know what I mean. Huh? Bernie, I'm not a secret agent. Uh-huh. Well, I kind of am. What else do you want to know? A secret agent. You mentioned you want to be a secret agent. Why? Why am I getting to know these people? I'm just trying to solve a mystery. Uh, secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example, you've got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. I'm not a secret agent. Sure you're not. Ah, oh, he winked! <laughs> Frog is uncomfortable. Even if I can't be a secret agent, the things I'd give up for a magnifying glass, there's nothing I want more. Interesting. I'm gonna watch my fucking back because this bitch is gonna steal my magnifying glass. What else do you want to know? Nothing. Oh wait, magnifying glass. Why do you want a magnifying glass again? What do you mean, why? Everyone knows that the magnifying glass is the coolest of the secret agent items. How could you, a secret agent, not know that? Listen. Fine, fine. You're not a secret agent. Whatever. What else do you want to know? That's it. That's really- okay. I'll come back with some questions later. Okay, Bernie, you are no help. Whose fucking pasta is this? Okay, they said something about a hole. Oh, the hole they're fucking standing in front of. I'm in the hole! I can't get any further down. I didn't want to go in the hole. Hmm, nothing in the hole. Yo, he is relaxing. <gasps> Small enemy spider. It's him. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go, uh, hey, what are you doing down here? <laughs> this game is goofy. Oh man, okay, let's talk to you. What are you doing? In there. Hi, howdy. 
What are you doing in there? Swimming. But there's a storm. It's not raining yet. Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in storms. Huh? Everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea. But it's safer in here than it is up there. Why is that? No ghosts in the water. How does he know that? Ghosts can't swim. Well, he is actually, he is a ghost scientist, so. How do you know? Martin said, you don't look that happy in there. I guess I'm not. Aw, get out. Sorry to hear it. Thanks. Man, you so, you're so sad. Hey, I, I ended up being a therapist anyway. Well, it's kind of silly. I only want a magnet. What? I told you it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well, go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Oh, why? Boats are fast. I'm not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast too. Nice. <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't have any idea where to find one though. And even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Is there anything you need to know? Um, I guess we'll start with the magnet. Why did you want that? Oh, he's just telling us why he wants the magnet again. If it sweetens this deal, I can give you this big shell in return. Thought it might be magnetic, but it's not. Why would you think a shell was magnetic? How was I supposed to know? What am I, a scientist? Yes. Uh, okay. Is there anything you need to know? The ghost. What do you know about the ghost? Well, not much, I guess. I heard noises coming from the holes around the island. They freaked me out so badly that I grabbed my floaty and got in here. How long have you been in the water for? Uh, maybe two weeks? Sir! Your feet. They are going to be so wrinkly. Whoa! <laughs> Me and this frog literally have the same brain! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Ew, I don't know. <laughs> you should check. <laughs> Maybe later. Is there anything you need to know? Not right now. That's so funny. Okay, so we need to find him a magnet. And that's the boat I came in on. And we need that past over there. What's this? Aww. Now that's the face of a friend. For sure. What about you? Everything on this island has a face. Oh, there's Martin. Oh, he looks so scared. I wanna- Hey, it's Duck Guy! He also has a magnifying glass. There's a spooky, spooky noises coming from this cave, but we have to explode those rocks, probably. Whoa! He's ready to fucking fight! Stop right there! Whoa, I am alarmed. Why? My shells! Don't step on my shells! Oh, I won't. We can't be sure of that. I guess not. They're very fragile and small. Me about myself. Aren't we all? I guess! Please be careful! Okay. Are you still going to stand like that? Yeah. Why? I'm alarmed. <laughs> I'm on alert. I'm protecting my shells from dangerous frog feet. Whoa, that's rude. Sorry. I'm just worked up about my shells. I don't mean to be rude, but what shells? I can't see any shells. That's because they're small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. The fuck? Wow. Sorry, but it's the truth. I had to get this one specifically, or specially made for my tiny shells. Fine. Can I ask you some questions now? Ask me questions. Just be careful. That cave. Do you know anything about that cave? Huh? What? No. I'm not even sure it's a cave. I'm pretty sure it's a cave, bitch. Just looks like a pile of rocks if you ask me. You are so dumb, sir. It's a cave for sure. Well, I guess we'll just agree to disagree. It's literally a confirmed cave. Potato, potato. Nobody pronounces it like potato. I do. Really? Well, Frog hates this guy. Yeah. Fair enough. 
Ask me questions. Just be careful. If I ask him about the tiny shells, he's just gonna... Why don't you just get a bigger shell? Whoa, idiot! Yeah, just get a better shell. What the hell? Ha, 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 ha. You fool. Hey. Sorry. <laughs> it's just that there's not many big shells around here. If I could get one, sure. This magnifying glass would be useless to me, but I don't see a big shell around here, do you? Hmm. Okay, so I think I need to get a magnet to the koala so I can give the big shell to this duck, and then the duck will give me his magnifying glass and I can give it to the guy who wants to be a secret agent. I'm already figuring it out. Freaking duck guy, I hate you. Aww, he looks kind of shy. Why is he doing that? <gasps> What a friend! He has a little friend face as well! Hi, little mouse! Oh, he's kinda shy! Oh my god! Hi, Mo! Hi! Hello! Are you okay? Yes? It doesn't seem okay. Are you sure? Well, I have just never talked to a detective before. Oh my god, he likes us? I've heard so many nice things about you. Aw. I don't want to be embarrassing. Whoa, I think I'm this mouse as well. <gasps> if I'm embarrassing, that would be very bad. You're not embarrassing. That's very good news. But the conversation isn't over. There's still time. This is literally me. I have to be careful. Oh, well, is it okay if I ask you some questions? You have some questions? Questions? Yes. You nervous? You seem very nervous, may I ask why? Uh, because the detective thing, I told you. Um, I'm afraid of detectives. Oh, yeah. Maybe when I was a kid, I had a bad dream about a detective. Something like that, I don't know. I'm sorry to hear about that dream. What? Oh, I didn't actually have a dream about that. So why are you so afraid of me? Because I'm a big scary frog. Um, hello? Oh no, not the awkward silence. Fine, you've worn me down. Damn, you extreme detective. Damn your extreme detective skills. I'm nervous because of Mystery Monkey. <gasps> what did Mystery Monkey do to you? Mystery Monkey is a huge fan of your blog, so I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. I just think Mystery Monkey is super neat. Oh my god, do you have a crush on Mystery Monkey? And I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess everything up. Oh, well, is there anything I can do to help? Um, there's a dance competition coming up tomorrow? I want to compete and show Mystery Monkey that I'm really good at dancing, but I don't know what style of dance will impress them. Could you ask Mystery Monkey and find out? I can give you this... What? Mouse wash mouth wash in return? Sure. What? Okay. Why can you tell me about the ghost? There's a ghost? Sir, aren't you a ghost scientist? Oh, ghost scientist. Not toe scientist. <laughs> that makes so much more sense. You thought you were a toe scientist? Yeah, I only took the job because, you know, I don't. Uh, you know. Because you like toast. Yeah. What have you been doing this whole time? Not thinking about ghosts, that's for sure. How spooky. So you haven't heard any weird noises. Oh, for sure. Heaps of weird noises. I don't think they're coming from a ghost, though. What makes you say that? I haven't seen anything floating around as if a ghost was holding it. True. That happens in the movies. I'll keep an eye out, though. Sure thing. Okay, now we're gonna ask him with the bottle. I'm guessing that's the mouse wash mouth wash. That's my mouse wash mouth wash. I'm happy to give it to you if you can find, okay. Cool. All righty. Let's leave him alone, he's nervous. Okay, so, <gasps> this island is full of little bugs with cute little faces. He's dancing. Okay, wait, actually I want to talk to him last. 
There's other people over here. What do we got here? More sciencey, sciencey things going on. Remember, do not split up when searching for ghosts. Like in Scooby Doo. <laughs> Who took my sunglasses? Give back. By me. He's hula hooping. He looks happier in that picture than he does over there. Aw, not the same man. Not the same man. Um. Oh, there's <gasps> a magnet. Can I have it? This might come in handy. We can steal a magnet off a table that's obviously in a tent that own that like is owned by the scientists, but I can't take a fucking plate of pasta off the beach. This game, it's wild. Um, we got more sciencey bottles. Oh! There's a guy over there. Notes. Some hole. <laughs> Not some hole. Some hole noises? Need some tomatoes for soup. Who is ghosts? I'm not qualified. <laughs> Same. Oh my god! Hello! He's going like this. He's surprised. Science line, don't go in. What if I do though? What's going on in here? <laughs> I'm really not following the rules. Hmm. I should have listened to the sign. Why? There's nothing in there. What's around his feet? Yarn? Is that yarn? What is that? Coconuts? I don't know. Hello. What is he? Noodle. Aw, hey. Maybe he owns the plate of pasta and he can give it to me. Why do I keep saying pasta like I say it that like that? It's pasta. How's it hanging? Eh, fine, I guess. Bored, mostly. Bored? That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Surely you can't just say I'm suspicious. There's no rule against it. No, no tape around here that says that. I'm not being suspicious at all. I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious. That's okay. Why are you bored? Isn't hunting ghosts supposed to be exciting? The first week, sure. Not now, though. I've been at this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. Gross! <laughs> I know! Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask away. You're wool. Oh, it's wool on the ground. Okay, I thought he was a sheep, but I wasn't sure. Why are you shedding? I haven't had a trim in ages. It's so yuck. Split ends everywhere. I'm usually getting cut once a week, but it's been two weeks now. Yuck. So, it's so gross. It's totally fine. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings. But there's wool everywhere. I think everyone is grossed out by it. Aw, oh, surely that's not true. Eh, maybe not. But it feels true in my heart. Aw. I think most people like wool. It's used for so much stuff. <gasps> Wait, I need it for the explosive. Like what? My jumper is made out of wool. <gasps> is he British? My jumper? Haha, <laughs> are you for real? Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> it's weird that you're wearing my hair. <laughs> wool is pretty gross. That's why I keep mine short. I don't think wool is gross at all. Okay, but what if I wore a coat made of your slime? Ew! What? Ew! Gross, right? Sure, but slime is kind of gross anyway. And I'm saying that as someone who is very slimy, wool is worn by most people. This is the first time I've heard someone wearing wool. I think that makes you the weird boy. <laughs> Plus, I'm pretty sure the shirt you're wearing is wool. What? I'm wearing another sheep's hair. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Gross. I'm happy to take your wool away from you if you'd like. I mean, your own wool, not your shirt. Uh, yes, please. But you'll need someone to clean it up. Something to clean up with. I seen a broom. I seen a broom. Or fire? Did I say fire? Cool, okay. I probably won't use fire. Okay. Can't believe I'm wearing wool. What if it's Barney's? Who's Barney? Can we ask who Barney is? This hole. What can you tell me about this hole? I hate this hole. Whoa, why? Never does anything. It's a hole. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts, not holes. Maybe the ghost 
is in the hole. Have you looked? I've looked. No ghosts in there. It's a pretty deep hole, but gets smaller as you go down. So maybe there's a ghost further down. Do you hear any ghost noises coming from the hole? Sometimes. But not as many as Bernie and Larry's hole. <laughs> Stop saying the word hole, please. Now that's a noisy hole! Stop! I wish I could hang out there. Who's stopping you? The boss. Who's the boss? Oh, see? I don't know. Maybe Mystery Monkey? Maybe? Maybe not. Okay. Mind if I ask some more questions? I don't have any. Okay. So. Now we're gonna go talk to Martin and then I'm going to go give that magnet to the little guy. Can I take this right now? Ooh, a broom. But, and I can take the broom too, but I can't take the fucking pasta. Are you kidding me? Hey bro, I stole your broom. Ah, who are you? I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the frog detective here from the agency. Oh, okay, don't sneak up on me like that. I've literally been wandering around this island for so long, sir. I was visible from the entire approach, or for the entire approach. Well, fine, I guess I just don't, I guess just don't look so spooky. He doesn't look spooky at all, he's a frog. Okay, I'll do my best. Sorry, I'm so cranky, I haven't slept in two weeks. I'm Martin, king of the island. I can see from your crown. You're a king? Well, when I got here, there was nobody else on the island except for me and Finley. Who's Finley? So I thought it was fine to declare myself king. Finley? I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley mostly cares about the dance competition. No, I meant to ask who's Finley. Oh, okay then. <laughs> the interactions in this game are so awkward. Do you mind if I ask you? Okay, so we... Can I ask who Finley is? Oh wow, we got a lot. Dance competition. You mentioned a dance competition. Can you tell me a little more? It's tomorrow. Anything else? Best dancer wins. Okay. <laughs> Who's Finley? I gotta know. I hope it's that little bug in the corner. You mentioned your friend Finley. Who's that? Finley lives on a nearby island and comes to visit every few days. The last time I saw Finley, she was talking about the song she wanted to dance to for the competition. Her moves were pretty amazing. Not like me. She'll probably win. I haven't seen her in a while but she's probably still prepping for the competition. It's tomorrow. Not that I'll be able to compete, but compete what with this whole spooky situation going on. Martin sighs. Got questions for me? Finley is gonna come back into play. About the noises. Can you tell me about the noises and where they're coming from? Not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. How do you know for sure? I have a book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost Guide, Foolproof Ways to Detect a Spirit. I read most of it. Anyway, in the book it says that most ghosts can't be seen. And get this, I haven't seen a ghost yet. The proof is all there. I guess he's right. Your nerves. You seem super nervous. Is there anything I can do to help? It's just the ghost getting me down. I haven't been able to sleep. I'm kind of annoyed too because I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. I read all about them on the cyberweb- on the cyberweb.com. But now, I'm living one. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get through the bottom of things. Bottom of the grave, more like. What? That made more sense in my head! What the fuck? I guess I mean like, we'll probably die before the mystery is solved. That's very dark! Dark, just like the conclusion to the sale. Okay. Sorry, I'm being dramatic. You know, I'm a good detective, right? I've solved every case I've taken on, except the mystery of how to put on a hat. What? My head is a strange shape. Oh no. It really is. That's so fucking rude. The point is, you're safe. I'm going to find the culprit. The best thing you can do is sit and relax. Everything will be okay. I don't feel okay. I'm finding it really hard to calm down. I understand. Ghosts are scary. 
But it, might, but, but it might not be a ghost. You really think it's not a ghost? I don't know for sure. Oh. Let's try a visualization exercise. Okay, I'm actually a therapist now. What's a visualization exorcism? It's a thing where we pretend. Imagine. You're on a beach surrounded by calming waves. Not that hard to imagine. You can feel the cool breeze on your face. The waves slowly move in and then out. It is a safe beach. What beach is it? This beach. This isn't a safe beach. There's a ghost here. No, the ghost is on holiday. Oh, okay. Where is it? On a road trip. Cool. Can we visualize that we're on a road trip instead? But the ghost is on the road trip. Great point, continue. Anyway, the waves are coming in and out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. No ghosts around at all. The ghost is on a road trip. Yep, nothing to fear. A nice sandy beach. Just me and the ocean. How do you feel? So relaxed. Great, me too. Thanks so much, detective. That's okay. I want to give you something as thanks. <gasps> Perhaps a piece of my crown. <gasps> yeah, the gold for the explosive. I got a chunk of gold. Wow, that's so kind. It's really heavy. It's made of pure gold. Why? I like gold. Okay. <laughs> I love that his answer to like most things people say is, okay. Okay, let's go and give him... Oh wait, the, the guy wanted toothpaste for the explosive, but I guess mouthwash will have to do. Because we can get that. Hello! Always with the questioning? Is there anything you need to know? That's so rude. The magnet. I brought you a magnet. What? Like, a real one? Are you for real? Yeah. This is a dream come true. Thank you so much. No problem. In return, I'll give you this big shell. I don't need it anyway. Great, thanks. Wow, a real magnet. Got a shell. Hell yeah. Okay, now let's go and give him the shell. Hello! Oh, shit! Oh, he's asking questions. He is a big shell? Of a big shell, if you want it? What? How? It's a long story. It actually kind of is. Oh, in that case, I don't care. I hate stories. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I totally want the shell. Can I swap you for it? I have this magnifying glass to look at the tiny shells, but I won't need to. I won't need it now that I have this big shell. Cool, thanks. You're still standing weird. I'm still on alert. Here's a magnifying glass. Got a magnifying glass. Nice. Okay. Now I'm gonna go sweep up the wool. Here. Hello. I have a broom to sweep up the wool. Hey, I got that broom ready to clean? Yes, amazing. Thanks, detective. Can I keep this broom? Absolutely. Can I keep your wool? <laughs> it's so weird. But yeah, knock yourself out. What? I mean, like, take all the wool you want. Not physically knock yourself out. Phew. Oh, what is this game? It's so funny. Oh, it's so funny and sweet. Aww! Noodle, you're so cute. Okay, I have- I've done nothing but just like be a therapist to these people. I'm not getting any closer- Oh wait, I didn't talk to this crocodile! I was too- too distracted by the small enemy spider. Okay. Oh my god, look how we're sitting! <laughs> Damn! Howdy. Hello. Are you the, uh... Yup. Great. You brought my toothpaste shipment. Huh? Uh, no. I'm the detective. Oh, okay. Can I call you D-Tech? Yes. <laughs> nice. 
I have some questions, is that okay? Take it away, D-Tech. Your clothes. Oh, wait, I need that toothpaste. Why aren't you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my day off. I've been working so hard for the last two weeks. It's very important to take a break and get some sun. True. You're right. Uh, not about the sun, about taking the day off. Yeah, I didn't pick a great day for it. Sorry to question you on your day off. Take it away, D-Tech. Your smile. Oh my god, we're flirting. Look at these stances. I hope you don't mind me saying, but you have wonderful teeth. Oh my god, he's blushing. Thank you, I'm so glad someone finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? With Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth, of course. Sam! Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth? I get a shipment here every three days. I go through the stuff so quickly. I'm down to my last tube. Wow, where can I get some of my own? Do, do you have teeth? Nor. Um, well, I could give you my tube, but I would need something else to keep my mouth fresh. Oh, we're gonna give him the mouthwash and then he's gonna give us the toothpaste. Yes, yes, yes. All right, we've got it all down. And then we're gonna fucking blow up that fucking cave. Who wanted the magnifying glass? Larry? No, you did. Hey, I'm talking to you. I have a magnifying glass for you. Magnifying glass. I have a spare magnifying glass if you're interested. Yo! Interested? Are you kidding me? There's very... There's very literally nothing I want more. Here you go. This is the best day ever. All my dreams are coming true. Is there anything I can do to repay you? Do you need any help with your secret agent business? Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. I could give you my lunch. Oh, it's Bernie's pasta. Okay. Oh, what's cooking? Pasta, as always. If there's one thing I love apart from the thrill of secrecy, it's pasta. Anyway, my appetite is satiated from the deliciousness of this magnifying glass. That's a weird way to word that. Whatever, would you like the pasta? Heck yeah. All yours. Hell yeah. Oh, he has it in his pocket now. Okay, now we gotta talk to um, him to ask about the dance competition. Uh, dance styles. Hey, so, uh, you, uh, you like dancing and, uh, dance styles? I don't understand. Uh, frog, you're fucking it up! I like dancing a lot, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, kind of. What type of dancing do you like the best? Well... I basically only have one move. Yeah, but like, uh, if you saw someone dancing, in what scenario would you most likely be like, this is such a great dance? What? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, what dance style do you like the best? Oh, I think break dancing is so neat. If I saw someone break dancing, wow, I would swoon. Oh shit. I would even go so far to say, if I saw someone break dance, I would be so deeply impressed that I would want to hang out with them at all times forever. <laughs> what? That's great. Sorry for such a strange question. That's okay. I'm sure it's important to the case. Bye. Got a monkey fact. <laughs> it's in the corner. <laughs> Hi, little shy mouse. I know what kind of style of dance you can do. You got a break dance, bro. Good luck. Hey, I talked to Mystery Monkey. Oh my gosh, did you mention me? What did Mystery Monkey say? Does Mystery Monkey hate me? I'm so embarrassing. I didn't mention you. Phew. Mystery Monkey likes break dancing the best. Break dancing? I think I can do that. I gotta start practicing now though. Please tell me when we stop talking to him that he's gonna be break dancing, please. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, here's the mouthwash before I forget. Cheers. He's literally British. He said, cheers. Please be breakdancing. Oh! Oh shit! Oh, get it! 
Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> Damn! Get him! That's not. Is that break dancing? <laughs> He's really going! Oh shit, that's me actually. <laughs> that boy! <laughs> Oh shit, he's looking at me. That is the funniest thing I've ever seen. I don't want to keep progressing with the game. I just want to watch him go, hey, hey, hey. Let us get the toothpaste now. From our friendo here. Hello, sir. It's a weird angle to talk to you at. Mouthwash. Have some mouthwash. Have some mouthwash for you. Amazing, thanks. Am I able to use your toothpaste? I almost forgot. Here you go, D Tick. They all sound like a little boy named Timmy. Hustle hard? Fuck yeah. Hello, down there. Okay. Hello. I love how I get way too close to these people. I have all the things for the explosive. I think. Let's make some dynamite. Let's see. Wow! You got everything. Yep. Amazing. Shall we make some dynamite? That's what I just said. Yes! Let's do it. Nice, I'll cook up some dynamite and we can get exploded, baby. Larry's the only competent detective. Or ghost scientist. Hey, 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 he's walking. I'm walking here. <laughs> well, this is it. Yep, time to blow this cave up. Larry, Explo explosives? Explosives are dangerous. Sorry. Time to carefully blow this cave up. Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too. And I'm not even coming into the cave. You're not? I don't like dark spaces. Me. I'm a sunny boy, baby. Fuck yeah, you are. I'm not a baby. Sorry. Anyway, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. I love how much they just like talk and like say words. Whoa! Oh shit! It made us fall over! It made us fall on our little butts. <gasps> Larry died. Larry, you were a good man. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh. Oh. Huh. I go up the ladder? Oh my god, we're stuck down here, y'all. I fell down this ladder. Damn, okay, I thought this was just gonna be like somebody was in the cave yelling into like a whole system. Anyone here? Wait. There's music. <gasps> oh shit, is that Finley? Oh, get it, girl! Yes! She's a chicken! Hell yeah, girl! Oh, I didn't mean for you to stop dancing. Whoa! I'm about to- I'm about to fight! I'm about to fight him! Her. Oh, hi! Who are you? Are you a ghost? Haha, <laughs> what? I don't think so. Oh. Are you sure? Hmm. Yep. That's great. You're not wrong. So, uh, who are you? Finley. Who are you? The detective. Howdy. Wait a minute. Are we all cowboys? Finley. I know that name. I'm pretty well known around local dance circles. <laughs> That's not it. Oh, you're Martin's friend. Yeah. What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition? It's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Uh, hmm. Geez, like two weeks, I guess. Are they hearing her music? Is that what's going on? I didn't even realize. Ha ha. Ha ha. Wait, two weeks? Have you seen any ghosts around? Ha ha. Nah. Just me down here. All these fucking mushrooms. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? He thinks every dark space is haunted. He re- That is me. That is me. Like, my living room, completely safe in the daytime. The lights are off. I'm like, that shit, there is 
things down there, for sure. He reads all those ghost books and thinks there's a ghost in every crevice. It's good for me, though. Perfect spot to train. You've been dancing for two weeks straight? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps. And these mushrooms are super nutritious. I was just thinking, she probably eats the mushrooms. Gross! <laughs> mushrooms are disgusting. Frog, this is where we do not align at all. That's your opinion, detective. Oh shit, called him by the first name. No, it's a fact. Okay. Anyway, Martin's been super spooked out because he's hearing weird noises all over the island. Any idea what the noises could be? Hmm. Mushrooms are so nasty. No. You're wrong. You're very wrong. Actually, I understand because I know a lot of people that don't like mushrooms. I know that I didn't like when I was a kid, but I like them now. Not canned mushrooms though, because those shits are slimy and not good. But like a fresh mushroom, that, that's, that'll that be hitting different. I've been listening to my radio while dancing. This cave has a lot of holes. That's what it is. The music echoing through the holes throughout the island. The sound from your radio could, could easily travel to the surface. I bet it'd be super, I bet it'd sound super warped too. You know, you've been trapped in here you know you've been trapped in here, right? The cave has been blocked off by rocks. Haha, <laughs> really? Haha, <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, you could have died. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> then I'd actually be a ghost. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we should head back up to the island. Yep. Okay, but I can't fucking climb the ladder. Oh good, it's just gonna take us there. Yeah, yeah! Me and Finley- Oh, she's yellow, I thought she was green. It's just the, the vibes of the cave, I guess. Martin is so shocked! Finley? Hi, Martin. Hi. Hey. Hi. What are you doing here? I was in the cave. You- What? How did you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks. Two weeks, to be exact. Wait a minute. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. This is us solving the mystery. It was Finley in the cave all along. She was so wrapped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. The noises from her radio carried up to the surface and sounded super spooky. But my ghost books, I was so sure it was a ghost. Nope, just me. It just goes to show you should never trust books. <laughs> Always use the internet instead. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Books are, without exception, factually inaccurate. Yep. <gasps> Is that me? Hi there, apologies for interruption. Hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the detective on most issues, <laughs> there are contexts in which books can be very useful and informative. It's important to check the validity of the author's sources and to check the books is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place to find information, but make sure you're getting your information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. Thanks, girly. Thanks for that PSA. So anyway, as I was saying, books have no place in our society. Sure thing. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. You're very welcome. So, just to be clear, you were practicing for the competition this whole time. Yep. I'm in it to win it. Finley has huge hands. I'm still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. What dance competition? Best dancer wins. Who else is competing? Hmm, that's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget Mo the mouse. Who? One of the ghost scientists? The what? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I think we need more entrance. Am I gonna enter the, the dance competition? I know a few hardworking friends who could use a good boogie, but they won't be here tomorrow. Well, let's move the competition to today. Yeah. 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 Before we dance, I, w I just want to say 
Thanks for solving the mystery, detective. No problem at all. I had a lot of help. Larry figured out where the noises were coming from. Larry? Is that the lobster? The one that talks over everybody? Yep. Well, I'll give my thanks to Larry too. So, shall we boogie? Let's fucking go! Yowie hands? No! I forgot about yowie hands! How dare you! Yo, we're dancing! Oh shit! Oh shit! Mouse is not even doing dances that they said they were gonna be doing. So what the fuck? He's kinda just like shaking around. Get it! Damn, that was such a fun little game. I'm glad there's two more of them. That was adorable. This was great. Is this on Steam? Yeah, it is. There's three of them. This is the first one. I know one is like a cowboy one and the other one is like a forest one. Oh shit, Fry was getting it there. Okay, I think we've practiced enough. Wait, where is my fucking mouse? Wait a minute, who's judging? I'll do it. Oh, I, I can't use the mouse right now. Oh shit, get it! That was fun. Martin scares me so much, he's threatening. Oh, he's doing the single ladies dance. Oh, he's doing the shopping cart. Hell yeah. Whoa, he's tall as fuck. Get it. Mixable animations go hard, yeah. Fuck this guy, fuck this guy, he was so rude. Oh shit, I don't know what Noodle's doing, but get it. Hey, I think Finley should win. She's been practicing for two weeks straight. But he was also like so nervous. And I wish he would have done the moves that he was like practicing. I would have definitely. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, Martin is not it. He really hired all these people because he's so fucking rich and he owns an island. Hey, hey, hey. Look, we go! <laughs> it's so goofy and low too much. Do I get to vote on who's the best now? <gasps> okay. I think either, I think maybe Finley. Not duck, fuck the duck. Noodle was pretty nice, but like she thought we were weird, so I don't know. Um, the koala, his movers were okay. He was tall as hell. Hell yeah. Um, was he the shopping cart one? Um, Larry was doing the single lady stand, so that was pretty cool, but I feel like I should pick Finley because what did the duck do? He was just a dick to us. He was so rude. He was like, he was like telling us that like, he, like something about he didn't like our frog feet. We picked Finley. <laughs> the most aggressive waving I've ever seen. Bye. Oh, she has flowers at her feet. That's so cute. Bad ending, shake my head. What? There's, there's more than one ending. Well, I, obviously there's an ending where like everybody can win. Bye. Bye. <gasps> A little bit later. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, do I just talk to my supervisor? Hello? Frog detective crime solving agency, frog detective speaking, how may I help you? Detective, supervisor. Great work on the haunted island mystery. Thank you, I tried very hard. I don't think even Lobster Cop could have solved that one. I think you're under underestimating Lobster Cop. You're probably right. Anyway, I saw you busted a groove at the dance competition. Yeah, where did you see that? It was on TV, every channel. <laughs> every channel? In HD. Busted a what? You did what on TV? Cool. I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Mostly the calls are about your dancing. But I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of Warlock Woods? I haven't. Well, there's something super strange going on there. They need your best, our best investigator on the job. Lobster Cop wasn't available? Nah, 
Can you handle another case detective? I can handle anything! Yeah! <gasps> oh. The detective will return in. The case of the invisible wizard. Oh, look at the little wizard face. It's so cute. I wonder if I got all the achievements. That was it. Hell yeah. That was so fun. Very fun and cute and sweet. Let me see if I got all the achievements. <gasps> There's one that I missed. Tried to leave. You haven't... What? You haven't even solved the mystery. Oh, I was supposed to like leave the game. Oh, you clicked the boat. Oh. Oh, should I? Will it take me back to the island though? I think it'll just restart the game, won't it? Yeah, it's just gonna restart the game. What the fuck? Oh, okay. I'll do that. I want a 100% frog detective. Hey guys, welcome, welcome today. Welcome back. We're speedrunning frog detective um, haunted island. So the first thing you, that you want to do is you want to just like quickly get through all the dialogue. You don't really need to know what's going on for this game. You can you can kind of just memorize it. You can look up um, some tutorials online if you want. Um, then just grab your magnifying glass. There's a lot of cutscenes. Um, you can't click through with those, so that's gonna put some time on your clock. Quickly look through the magnifying glass and then get the fuck out of this room. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, and sub subscribe. Um, next week we'll be doing the next, um, speedrun of the next Frog Detective game. Also, like, very cute. The, the dialogue is very funny. The music is really great. Love it all. Mwah, mwah, love it all. It reminds me of, like, the fucking, like, Pajama Sam and, like, Freddy Fish games. Like, you have to, like, solve a little mystery and it's like, Oh, you get this item from this place and then you have to go here and get an item from this place. Modern day cereal CD game! <laughs> True! This, this, you would find this in your cereal for sure. Hello, I'm just going to leave now. Oh! This is fun! But I gotta get back to work. <laughs> just got in my boat to dance around. What the fuck's he waving at? Oh shit. Idiot. But yeah, that was the game that was super fun and cute and very funny. Okay. I'm gonna end it here. Everyone, thank you so much for being here. It was very fun. Goodbye.